when you buy these cars from Copart, IA, and every other auctions like that, how do you move this car to Lagos, Nigeria? Or how do you ship these cars to Lagos, Nigeria? I've spoken about shipping before, but today I'm going to be doing an exclusive episode on buying from Copart or IA or any other auction. Grand transportation, that is the movement of the vehicle from the auction to the port and the ocean shipping down to Nigeria. So it's going to be explosive and I won't talk about this topic again because I've spoken about shipping before. But let me do this because a lot of people ask the same question all the time. But let me make it an exclusive episode so that people can grab A to Z of buying and shipping to Nigeria. So let's go. When you buy these cars from the auction, the next thing for you to do is to make your payments. And you make your payments as soon as possible because the auction will charge you for late payment if you make any mistake of not paying on time this will spoil your invoice and it will make all the vehicle to be more expensive than you expected this vehicle is actually going for 7.5 million naira. if you are interested you can contact me so contact me if you are interested in this lexus is350 it's lovely and you enjoy it so back to making your payment on time on copart you have to make your payment on time so that they won't charge you for late payment, which is about $50 with Copart. And with IA, it is different. Send your invoice of the payment to your shipping company. I have a shipping company. I know the majority of you guys don't have. You can deal with my shipping company. I'll be the one to take you to the shipping company and get you guys registered. Now, the shipping company will be the one to look for the transporter. The transporter will be the one go to Copart or IA, move the vehicle and take it to the seaport. Now from the seaport is where the process of the vehicle will start. And what is the process? The process is to check the title, check the fact that this vehicle is not stolen. We call it custom clearing. The vehicle will go through its own custom clearing within the United States port. Once they confirm it is not a stolen vehicle, then they will ship it down to Lagos, to Ghana, to Cotonou, or any part of West Africa you want. You tell them where you want the vehicle to be shipped to. So they will do that for you. And the vehicle comes to Lagos, Nigeria, or any other part of West Africa that you want. That is the process of shipping. And that is how it will be done on every vehicle you buy at every time. I hope people will understand this and they won't come back and ask for how do you ship. That is why I'm making it an exclusive starting from the beginning of buying grand transportation and the shipping itself. It's very important for everybody to grab. Once the vehicle is loaded on the vessel, the shipping company will give you a draft copy of your bill of lading. So at least you have a document showing that your vehicle has been loaded. A week or two weeks after, the shipping company will let you know that your vehicle will be arriving at so-so and so date, which we call ETA, estimated time of arrival. So once you know your ETA, you have to make the payment for the shipping company immediately to avoid demo rate payments. Because in as much as you have the vehicle in Lagos and you have not made your payment, you cannot do your clearing. So, this is the process from buying to grant transportation to process through the um, US custom and the ocean shipping. After which, you have your draft copy of the bill of lading and your final payment for the shipment. And that is when the, the shipping company will give you the teller's release which your clearing agent in Lagos need to do your clearing for you. 
If you don't pay for your shipping, you will not get your tellers release. If you don't get your tellers release, your car will remain at the port, generating more demorage for you, which will, will kill the profit you are supposed to make on this vehicle. So this is very important, and that is the process. And if you know you don't have money, don't buy a car factors of shipping it. Because most of these vehicles are in Lagos, a lot of people don't have money to pay shipping company. And the customer will end up being the owner of this vehicle. At the same time, the same shipping company will never ship for you again. This is why the shipping company doesn't deal with people they don't know. You don't have any experience. You have not, you know, done the car business before. You have not shipped before. They won't deal with you. So guys, I'm still going out. I have an appointment. I have some people to train. Like I told you, this car is going for 7.5 million era. Make nobody comprise me, yeah, yeah, price. Yeah. And then we'll meet again in our next episode and we'll be talking about all that has to do with buying from Copart and how to avoid cars without the necessary documents. <laughs>